Hello everyone, this is Aaron Burton with Unconventional Oil and Gas Training. Thank you for joining me today. In today's module, we'll be looking at reclosable coil tubing activated frag sleeves. Now before we get started, if you're not familiar with the primary or refracturing operations with coil tubing activated completion systems, I do recommend you go into my website at uogtraining.com, look under the blog section, and check out these two videos here to get more uh, information on those processes. Now one of the questions from my blog was, with frac sleeves, can you use cement or open hole isolation? Uh, and the answer is yes, particularly with the cool tubing activated sleeves, uh, these were actually designed to be primarily isolated with cement around the annulus. If you want to use open hole packers, you can simply just place them between the frac sleeves and you get your annular isolation that way. Now the, de the debate as to which one actually isolates better is a very long and drawn out debate. Uh, we won't touch on it much here. But uh, after doing your research, whichever one you think is better, it is technically possible to get isolation with either cement or open hole. Now one of the scenarios I will throw out there from an economical standpoint is um, the number of sleeves and in individual stages you have in your well. Uh, with the cool tubing activated sleeves, we've seen a lot of uh, cases lately where they're doing record breaking numbers in wells, uh, up to 90 or more uh, sleeves in one well bore. Now, running 90 sleeves and you're trying to run 90 individual packers with it as well, the cost of 90 packers versus the cost of a cement job is probably significantly more. So the economics is something to factor into this as well. Now, if you run reclosable sleeves in your well bore, your primary frac job uh, looks the exact same. So once you get ready to fracture, you run your coil tubing into the well bore latch into the first sleeve at the toe, you open that frac sleeve, and then you pump your frac job down the annulus and out of that frac sleeve. Once you finish, you shut down your frac crew, you pull up pole, you locate into your second stage sleeve, then you open that sleeve, uh, start your frac job out of those ports, and uh, you begin your second stage frac. Now this is your traditional toe to heel fracturing where you start at the toe and work your way all the way through the well bore um, towards the heel. Now one of the unique benefits with this type of system um, in, in your primary fracturing operation is you can actually do out of order fracturing as well. So with the, in this process you go in with the first stage just like you would traditionally locate into the first sleeve, you open that sleeve pump your uh, frac job down the annulus out of the ports, shut down your frac job, but before you move on, you go ahead and reclose that frac sleeve, and that maintains complete isolation in the well bore. When you're ready to move on, you pull up hole, we'll go to the third, state, third sleeve now, we uh, open that frac sleeve, pump our annular frac job out of those ports, and when you're finished, shut down your frac crew and reclose that sleeve. Now the benefit of reclosing those sleeves is you still have complete isolation in your liner, so you don't have to go from to, uh, toe to heel. Now we can actually go back and fracture the sleeve uh, in between the first and third sleeve. So we go in, same process, open the sleeve, and perform your frag job. Now this is, uh, uh, if you're doing a frag like this, where you're going first sleeve first, uh, third sleeve second and then going back and getting the second in between uh, most people are trying to play some sort of stress shadowing effect and, and the theory is you get a more complex fracture network overall <clears throat> now once you've finished with that one you go in close that sleeve and then you finish the rest of the frac job as usual until all the stages in the well are finished now if you're using the out of order fracturing uh, once you finish your frac job, your sleeves are in the closed position, so you do have to go in and open them all in order to be able to produce the well. Now once you've finished opening the frac sleeves, then you will produce through the fractures you've created through the sleeves in the well bore and back to surface. Now over time, your production will decline, uh, and it's, it's pretty well known that the production uh, decline in these types of plays it can be relatively quick. So what a lot of operators are doing is once the production is no longer economical, they're considering going back in and refracturing. 
Now with this type of system, it's pretty unique because you can go in, you individually close each of the sleeves in the well bore, and when they're all closed, you have a completely isolated well again, and you don't have any diameter restrictions that you've created in the well. So once you've closed it, you can go back in, and with this system, you basically do your primary fracturing operation again. You go back in with coil tubing. You uh, go if you're using the traditional toe to heel fracturing. You locate in your first sleeve, open it, perform the annular frac out of that first sleeve, and then you uh, shut down your frac job and move on to the next sleeve. Now it is possible to do the uh, out of order fracturing operations as well. So whichever uh, fracturing technique you're using here, you can uh, do in the refracturing op operations as well. So that's it for the reclosable sleeves for cool tubing activated frac sleeves. Uh, once again, uh, this is Aaron Burton with Unconventional Tra Oil and Gas Training. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions about this module, please feel free to leave it in the comments or reach out on social media or my email address here and ask. Uh, also, if you're enjoying the video blog, be sure to sign up for our email communications. Uh, that way you'll stay up to date on uh, blogs that, as they're released and other events that uh, that we're doing as well. Once again, thank you. Have a great day.